Right, look at this um, forward Paco tank um, for slow cooling. Uh, it's been running out of ice. Um, around this time today, we got here. Um, previous days, it's had no ice in and the milk's been warm. Um, we've got it this morning, and there's plenty of ice in there. It's just about on the point of wanting to switch off, having cooled this morning's milk on both sides. Um, we'll give the ice bank probe to clean anyway, just as a matter of course, but I don't think that's the issue. Solenoid valve coils have been changed reasonably recently. I'll show you what we've found. Right, this is a control box. Um, we've got two ice bank controls. We've replaced one with that Ranko one there. And one of these other ones is the other ice bank control. And the third one is used as a level sensor for the water filling in the wash. So I have had those play up in the past. But what we found is when we got here, we looked at the clock and um, it was around 11 o'clock, but it's 24 hours out. Um, so I thought, well, maybe just somebody's got the wrong 11 o'clock when they've set it. Um, but it's not, it's only just, um, if you look at the time on there, it's only just would have switched on half an hour ago. And there's no way it would have made that much ice in half an hour. Um, when it's in, when the clock is off, it has a low ice function that will keep about a quarter of an inch of ice over the whole coil, and that, that's all it will do. So if it had been operating on that to get the milk cold, it would have only had half an hour runtime, and there's no way it would have made that much ice in that time. So then we started thinking maybe the clock is faulty. Uh, I've had the counter going now for probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and um, the clock hasn't moved at all. So it's probably starting and stopping. Um, probably the other days it's been in the off section and um, the tank's been cooling just on the low ice probe which will cool but it's just very slow because you, you don't have any ice reserves it's got to cool it um, at the time rather than it will make basically it can it will use the ice quicker than it makes it so um, the quickest way it will cool is with a big ice bank um, so yeah, that's not moved at all. So we check we've got power to it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we have because it's, it's just fell off a permanent line. So that's that's the problem I think here. Um, if you check that capacitor, that does the water pump because that's the other thing that can play up. If the pump don't start and pump the ice water around, it won't cool. And we'll check the capacitor and the agitator because again, they can give trouble. We've got full gas charge. Um, both systems. Check the wiring on them, they seem okay. So I think it's just that clock. Just out of curiosity, I've moved it around to the half past 11 position and left it, and it's still not moving. Um, I've checked we've got power onto the clock um, terminals, and you can actually hear the little motor whirring around in there. Um, when everything else is off. So probably the gears are worn away or something. It's 21 years old. If it's the original one, and I think it probably is, looking at the make and uh, model. Um, so what we'll do is we will flick the, um, the selector into permanently on, so the clock is um, out of the uh, circuit in effect it's going to just bypass it um, and it can stay like that until we've got a new one um, I'll check but I, I'm not sure if I've got one on the truck if I have I'll get it changed now but I've, I've got a suspicion I've fitted my spare one and I haven't replaced it yet so that's that the tube water pump works I've just checked that check the run current um, anyway, check the agitator as well Quite a lot of these, the overload to set an automatic reset. So if there is a problem with one of the motors, it tends to stop everything for a few minutes, cool down, and then reset, and off it goes again. Um, so that can mask the issue a bit because normally they'd trip and stay tripped, and you'd know what caused the problem. But um, you can get th things that end up tripping and resetting while nobody's watching, and then you're not aware of what's going on. But that is something to be aware of. Now, a lot of these come out of factory set on automatic reset. 
luckily had a time clock on the van. Um, this one that I've got to use a replacement defrost um, timer because they're common on older cold room control panels. Um, it's not DIN rail mounted unfortunately so we've had to uh, drill and tap um, four little mounting holes in there and it's just luck that I had a um, 2.5 mil um, tap and see the drill bits in the little tin. I've got a mixture of drill bits and taps and things. I had some little screws in the screw box. So we've got that mounted in there. Um, we're just checking the operation now. It's set to come on at 11 o'clock at night. It should turn off at 9 o'clock in the morning, which it does. Then once it goes on to that time, it switches over to the um, low ice probe sensor, I think. Because that contactor pulls in when um, the ice bank controls drop out. <coughs> To midnight or 11 o'clock, that pulls in. This one pulls in, um, and I think they're running the um, second ice bank control off of this delay timer here. It's a pneumatic delay timer, which is set about 10 seconds, I think, and it takes um, it takes quite a bit longer than that. So uh, I think we'll get another one of these ordered up. Because if, that, if that's not um, working, then we're never going to get any power onto the uh, second um, ice bank control. So that, that could be another problem. I need to check the wiring diagram, see how exactly that's done. But I've got a suspicion that it's run off of that wire there. Which I think is the... Um, there we go. Which I think is the um, second solenoid. That's a, yeah, second ice bank control. Which is the second song noise you just heard click. Other than that, that's um, job done. That's the old one. It's probably original.